there, Mark from the UK EDC, and thanks for joining me once again. Hopefully you can hear me against this horrible weather we've got in England at the moment. Rain and gales, typical day in England in the winter, yay. Anyway, here we go, let's have a review on the Helicon Tex Groundhog Backpack. This is made of nylon, it's a minimalist EDC backpack, and I really like this because it's got a couple of useful little features in there which you may not see straight away. So as you can see, we've got a nice strap there, you can move these up and down on these little guys here, and it's got a sternum strap should you choose to use that, and also a waist strap. I'm not a fan of waist straps myself, so I don't use them. And as you can see, it's quite a small pack, I think it rocks about 10 to 15 litres, it's nice and high on your body and you've got plenty and plenty of movement and of course it is fully adjustable, made of nylon, YKK zip, standard kind of thing, nice high quality product. And of course, you can of course carry it on one strap if you wish. Now let's have a look at this. As I say, it's got a couple of nice little features. The first of which is, you can see here, this is my GoPro 3-way. Basically this is like a, there's no hole here, so basically you're going right way down. You could put a fishing rod in there maybe, maybe one of your hiking poles that can hangle down there. And of course you've got a little clip on there to make sure this doesn't fall out just by doing that little clip up there and of course when you want to take something out you do so simple like that. So that's one nice little feature on the external there. This is the front compartment here. This has just got one zip that goes right down the middle. I went to Spain a couple of weeks ago with a good lady and this is the bag I actually took as a cabin bag and I'm walking around the streets bag. And so when I was on the plane one thing I did have on me was one of those travel pillows this is the one that kind of goes on the neck there, so when you go to sleep on the plane, it's supposed to stop your head moving forward. Nah, it doesn't really, but it's better than nothing. Um, also in the front here, you can see it's got a nice bit of space there. This is expandable, and we've got a little mesh pocket at the front there, and in that little mesh pocket I've kept the following things. I've got a Streamlight power bank. I also took on holiday with me, a little snack, one of those little energy bars, just in case I've got a bit peckish on the plane, because it was about five o'clock in the morning flight. And a torch, this is one of my favourite torches of all time, the Streamlight ProTac 1L1AA. Nice little bit of light on you to carry around as well, because it was winter, it's quite dark there in the evening as well. And I've got some cables in there as well for the power bank for the iPhone and the iPad. So that's your external little kind of pocket pack there, and as you can see, it expands quite nicely. Onto the main compartment now, two YK days zips on either side with power cord around the outside, <coughs> and the contents of which I took on the plane and I'm holiday were my um, noise cancelling Sony headphones, obviously drowns out the sound of the engine etc. Um, also a Shimag, nice to take these with you because you could use it to keep your neck warm as well or a little blanket while you're having to sleep on the plane. And my iPad as well, just in case I want to watch a movie on the plane or listen to some music, save my iPhone. And finally, as you guys know, I've got a GoPro recently, so I took my little GoPro with me as well. I like to get a couple of plane shots as well, but unfortunately I fell asleep so I didn't do that. So, as you can see, a nice and bad, a nice slimmer profile now, should you want to be a minimalist EDC, or you want to go on a walk on the moors or the woods or something like that, don't take too much with you, and of course it does expand to take extra things. Inside you've got a nice padded background, which follows on from the, the mesh back at the back, and of course it is hydration compatible, there's a little hanger there, a little slot there, and on your chest pack. You've got little retainers there to put your water bottle in. Now, as I did say, this had a couple of hidden features, so I'm going to show you what they are now. It might take me a little while to do this, so if we just stop right now, we'll come back. So we'll just hang on for a minute. Okay, so on the externals here, I know the lighting's bad, and this is a shadow grey version. It does come in different colours. We've got a zip down here, because you may be thinking, well, where am I going to put the watermark? So what we do is if we open that little zipper there and pull that out, we can see a mesh pocket. And in that little mesh pocket, it's going to be quite tricky to do one-handed, but I'm sure we can get the gist. You can put in your water bottle. Now, as you can see, that's flopping around here, there and everywhere. So, of course, it does come with a scent strap. There's a little bit of movement now. You could probably cope with that. But they've got these clever little clips on the outside as well. So you can actually clip it up. As I say, tricky to do one-handed. And you've got an external water bottle. Now, not only have you got one external water bottle, on the other side, you've got another one. So you've got two external water bottles. Or of course you could roll up a small pack mac or something and put that in there. As you see, these are quite a big size. This is what I take when I go for a walk on the moors, etc. I've got my um, life straw. That fits in there quite nicely. As you can see, it's a bit tricky to put in, so I'm not going to do that, but trust me, it does fit in quite nicely. So that's two little features you've got on the outside. And of course, if you don't want them, you simply just stick them back in, zip them back up, and you've got a lower profile pack on the outside. 
So that's one little secret. So what we're going to do now is we'll just stop again and I'll show you the other one. Okay, so here we go again. This is the last little feature. We've got those two little side pockets there, which can secret away. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, I want to carry a coat with me. There's not much space in there for a coat, especially when you've got your laptop in there. The laptop does fit in there, by the way. Um, so what you've got down the bottom, you've got like another kind of like hidden kind of compartment. And what this is, they call it the beaver tail. Now what happens here, this is kind of a piece of like mesh material. And what happens is you clip this onto the externals of the frame, and then you've got like an outside pocket. Again, that's very, very tricky to do one-handed, so I'll stop now, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in one second. So we'll just have a pause now. Okay, so I've put the beaver tail on now, secured them on the sides. They've got little clips that clip to the exterior of the pack there. And as you can see, I've got a raincoat in here. This is one of those ones that pack up. It's by Tog24. Nice, lightweight, little breathable uh, raincoat I've got in there. And these basically just little toggles that clip on and clip off there. So if you want to easily access the raincoat, there it is. And as you can see, you've got plenty of space in there. And of course, these are expandable. Another thing these guys have done, which I do like as well, they've got these little kind of like Velcro retainers on here. So this can like expand out by using these standard kind of clips. And then of course you can make that stick out a lot further so you can probably get a lot more on it. So there you go, that's basically my review of this Groundhog pack by Helicon Text. And big up to the guys at Helicon Text, Jacob especially, for sending me these to review for you guys. I really, really like this. This is going to be one of those things I take on holiday with me. A light fishing kit, that kind of thing. A quick walk on the moors, maybe a walk in the rooks. Don't think I could do an overnighter with it, but hey, you can get bigger ones from these guys anyway. It comes in different colours as well. Nice quality, but again, it's going to cost you around about 50 euros. It's not bad for a bag of this quality. Really like this, love the features on it. So thank you very much for watching guys wherever you are in the world. Keep watching, keep subscribing, thumbs up and like. Take care wherever you are in the world now. Peace out and much love.